Hi there, this is Michael Bovey with ConsumerRecoveryNetwork.com here on our Debt Bites YouTube channel and I'm going to talk some more about debt settlement, the first stage of debt settlement, which is dealing with your original creditors. You can target settlements with your creditors. Most settlements tend to get done over the years with debt collectors and outside third party agencies that your creditors will hire or debt buyers who risk their own money and you know try and get you to pay where your creditor couldn't. Often enough, the best deals, the best reduction of the balance, and the biggest benefit to you is going to be settling with your original creditor. It works a certain way. Here's what your targets are. When you fall behind, you can't pay, you know your creditors are going to call. You typically want to engage in conversation with them. In fact, your negotiations with your original creditor will happen over the phone. You write them a letter and offer some kind of settlement and you're just not going to get a response. That's not how it works. You do have to pick up the phone. I know it weighs a ton. You can get used to the process and ease into the whole negotiation process with your creditor by being proactive. Instead of answering all those calls and being annoyed by those calls, they're going to happen. Get over it. You make the call. Okay, so be proactive. Spend maybe as many as three to five minutes a month per creditor being proactive, staging this settlement effort. So in month one, you've got five creditors. Let's say you spent 20 to 25 minutes talking with your creditors and telling them what's going on with you. You don't have to go into a great amount of detail, but something has happened for you to be unable to pay your bills. What was that? Keep it brief, one to two sentences. Hi, this is Michael. I know I'm late. It's not my intention to not be able to pay you, but this is going on in my life. I've had a reduction in hours. Uh, my wife lost her job. Now we're down to one income, and that's impacted my ability to keep up with everybody. I'm sorry. That means you're not getting paid. I've got a few pans in the fire. As soon as something shakes loose, I intend to get caught up with you. That's it. Pretty simple. You're not going to be able to get a settlement out of your creditor in the first month of delinquency, nor the second month. More often than not, not in the third month. That changes in month four, five, and six. Depending on who your creditor is and their internal policies for offering lower balance payoffs, they start to get reasonable around month five. In fact, your best opportunity to settle with some of the largest banks out there, credit card issuers, is going to be right before you're exactly 180 days behind. There's a reason for that. It's kind of technical. I'll just briefly tell you it has to do with how they have to account for losses on their books. There's an accounting phrase. The term is charge off and it's used interchangeably in credit reporting and things like that. But it really is just an accounting term and that's what banks have to follow. They have to account for the loss after 180 consecutive days of non-payment. They can do it earlier. They don't because it's bad news. They have to share bad news with shareholders and Wall Street. So predominantly, you have a window of opportunity to settle with your original creditor between day one of being late and 180 days of being late. In month five is where you're going to find the best opportunities. You've had dialogue with your creditor each month. You've saved up money. You've tapped other resources, loaned from family, sold off an unused item and you've got cash, you need to be able to target the right amount for each bank. We talk about all that at ConsumerRecoveryNetwork.com. In fact, up here on the screen, I've got our DIY debt settlement page up where we talk about how you can deal with your creditors. If you have questions, we're right here on this channel, on this page, post them. We monitor all the activity on our YouTube channel and on this video and every video, so engage in conversation here. You can go to our website, Use the Ask CRN feature in the upper right corner. In fact, there's an 800 number up there that you can call anytime and talk with one of our specialists for free about your situation. So, I look forward to speaking to you on the next video where we're going to talk about settling debt with debt collectors. And we also look forward to helping you through any one of these mediums that we talked about today.